the restaurant idea came up around six months ago. That was uh, when we first had this site, and we weren't sure what we wanted to do. And then that during that period, my grandmother got really sick, and um, that's where I shared that story with Junda. And then Junda uh, suggested, "How about let's do something that's related to to my grandmother's cooking, and pay a homage to her." So I've been having your food for years, right? Uh, you were at Key, and then you were at Wong's, where I visited you many times. Uh, the thing that I respect about you most in the kitchen is the amount of attention to detail that you put, and of course, the discipline that you bring to the team. But for, for what I love about your food, it, it's definitely, you know, you, you have the big flavors, uh, the flair, and, and also that you're, you're such a fun person to be around with, you know. And I think that's what that's what's gonna make us unique. It's probably not like any other Malaysian restaurant you have ever experienced. So you get lots of big flavor, lots of subtlety. There's also fresh, lots of freshness that's involved in it. But the most important part is um, the food that's actually meant the most to me, which is my grandmother's cooking. That's the memory I have on what good food is since I was a kid. So I'm hoping to recreate that and bring in that to all of you. So Amma is going to be uh, distinctive uh, to all of our other hotel restaurants in the sense that we've always been trying to showcase that you know Malaysian food is very multicultural and even the food tastes different from region to region. It's very regional. Like uh, a laksa from north will taste different to a laksa down south. So what we're doing here at Amma is uh, Malaysian food from Ipoh which is pretty much his uh, hometown and we want to show that it's authentic to his memory. The dish that I'm most excited to bring into Ama is a handmade macro fish for soup. Uh, it's the dish that's most dearest and my favorite dish for my Ama. So what she used to do is um, she would go to the market before sunrise just to get the freshest fish you can, she can and then she would fillet it and then hand mince it and then just slowly feed it to alter the texture to a nice firm bouncy texture um, and because that process is so laborious she'll be doing that dish from the morning to the evening um, and that's how she show her love towards the family from sacrificing all her time to make something that we all appreciate and love so much it took me almost seven years to finally find this menu uh, where we finally have a kitchen in the middle of the restaurant the restaurant's u-shaped and so that we'll be cooking with flames on the walks, you'll be seeing fires while you dine around our kitchen and while we cook.